Well, what we plan to do is um, a workshop uh, where the girls will um, discover what freedom of expression on internet is all about. So freedom of expression through Article 19 of the uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights um, uh, has two, two sides to it. We have uh, rights and responsibilities and the idea is to um, teach the girls or let them discover what is uh, freedom of expression on internet, on media, social media, um, what rights do they have and what opportunities and at the same time let them realise that this right in particular also has responsibilities about their actions and what they were supposed to do. So we'll um, first of all introduce what rights are, what human rights are and then afterwards around uh, round table we'll talk about what kinds of responsibilities, um, what they, what's expected of them and what they can do to make sure that internet is a safer um, open and um, nice place to be for everybody and uh, girls in particular are probably very much subject to sometimes um, online uh, discrimination or hate speech. They, all, all youth people, young people are, are seeing um, many things on internet which are disagreeable and so basically see how with their attitude what they can do to make a better, nicer online world. I don't think that we need any new rules because all the rules are actually there but perhaps we need um, uh, young people to learn about them or read about them or be aware that they have a much stronger power to actually make a better place online. Um, online etiquette is the same as in the real world. Um, you have to have respect, you have to have openness, um, online, many of the things like anonymity can have advantages but also have a disadvantage. So basically if they learn about the limits that can be online, they themselves will, will basically replicate how they are in the real world, being polite about what they say to people, respecting what other people have to say. So I'm, I'm not so sure it's new etiquette rules, but probably uh, reminding people of what the real rules are of respect and uh, non-discrimination and no hate speech, um, privacy rules and privacy ideas, all of these things are not new. They just have to be reminded and especially as um, young people online are, are confronted to a many, a, a big array of information. So, so I think um, it would be just remind them of um, how they can, can contribute to this uh, online um, etiquette which is, should already be there. For me, uh, Girls in ICT is a great opportunity um, to have a pulse on the actual world because um, we've got evolved hugely in uh, women's rights, in gender rights, in equality and I think the girls nowadays have a lot of possibility online more particularly and it's become more and more equal. We have, uh, we don't need to have so many um, maybe technological um, uh, knowledge to actually be online and to be actually contribute in a voice. So that's a good way, ICT for girls, for girls to discover that they also have their place online. It's not so much about being an engineer or an internet engineer. There's many, many ways of actually contributing online, contributing by writing, by presence. And, um, and girls very often feel that um, if their voice is not heard or not spoken out loud that they don't have a place but internet gives that po possibility for everybody to have a, a voice not just um, those who actually know how to program or uh, people who know how to uh, how to create a website it's become much more democratic and i think uh, we see that nowadays that girls are also participating in a lot of debates on on social media and that's great and so ict for girls day is a, a wonderful opportunity to actually get this pulse of this new generation.